Several young St. Lucians expressed their artistic talent in their contributions to the 2022 component of the National Commission on UNESCO's Quail Poem Competition after a two-year hiatus as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The 2022 Quail Poetry Writing Competition is organized in celebration of the just-concluded Quail Heritage Month in October under the theme Du Vent a Somme. It is also organized as part of St. Lucia's observance of International Mother Language Day in February and World Poetry Day in March of 2022. The winning piece was penned by Alsei Ishmael. It captured the top prize with her poem entitled Anu Dase Guawonu. Ms. Ishmael, who is no novice to Creole poetry writing, expertly crafts life in Sweet St. Lucia as the Guawon, one of St. Lucia's traditional folk dances. La vie nous, c'est un danse traditionnel. Nous, à son stage, et puis la terre là, là, qu'à garder nous en paradis. Un plaisir, qu'à vivre la vie nous, qu'à vivre la vie doux. Un jeuté, qu'à danser en gouan, nous tous ensemble, la main en la main. C'est entrer, sortir, entrer, sortir, rouler. Pas pitié, mais continuer, d'où vent, d'où vent. Du vent, du vent, rouler, mais pas mater, mais toujours changer. Nous qu'à continuer, du vent, du vent, du vent, du vent, ensemble. Ensemble, nous qu'à célébrer commune, pas commune. Ensemble, nous qu'à célébrer, nous qu'à célébrer peuple nous, ensemble. Même en délai, nous pas, nous peut pas agir bien quand il faut. Même nous pile les pieds en alot. Même si nous tournons gauche, l'aide nous pour tourner droite. Ce qui est plus important, c'est si porter yon à l'autre. Et puis, moi, quand je suis en haut, pardon. Je suis en haut, et puis, moi, quand je suis en haut, et puis, ensemble, on nous continue. On nous danse, on nous. Nous tous ensemble. Du vent, du vent, du vent, du vent, ensemble. Speaking at the official prize-giving ceremony in honor of the winners held recently at the Alliance Française de saint lucie in Point Seraphin, Secretary General of the National Commission for UNESCO, Marcia Symphorian, thanked participants and sponsors Lucilec for their continued support throughout the years. I appreciate you so much. Since we started this competition, we have been four years, we have been motivated to participate. COVID-19 came and we have been Pas tellement mon dégât participer qu'on avant, mais autres ont été déterminés. Chaque année, les autres respectent compétition lancée, autres qui voient poésie, autres ça s'embarque, les autres qui attendent chaque année, autres respectent ça. Et moi, moi, qui apprécie ça. The annual competition Equity Poésie au Creole hopes to instill in Saint Lucians the importance of not just learning the mother language, but also to be able to write it. Ms. Symphorian thinks it's a step in the right direction as UNESCO continues to aid the Ministry of Education in making the teaching of Creole in schools a reality. It is a concrete manifestation of the beauty of our mother tongue and a demonstration of its versatility beyond the narrow confines of the domestic sphere. The National Commission continues to advocate for a revision of the status of the Creole language within the broader framework of our language policy. We continue to advocate for its confirmation as an official language and for its increased use within the public domain. Rochelle Victor's poem, Ku Adepadan Set Lisi, won her the second place with her piece which traces St. Lucia's history, placing the accent on key stages in St. Lucia's development. And Eva Stanislas was awarded the third place prize with her entry entitled Mweka Tujutan, featuring a commentary on a series of typical local sayings, all while highlighting the various achievements of St. Lucians. These poems, as well as previous entries, are to be featured in a book of original Creole poetry by local poets, which is stated to be launched in March of 2023 as part of activities in celebration of Francophonie Month. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.